Well, a news story this week revealed a surprising fact about The Bachelorette. One of the show's biggest celebrity fans is pop star Justin Bieber. Leslie from 1063 The Groove is here to catch us up on what happened during last night's show. Well, just in case Justin missed it. Oh, yeah. This is course. for Justin and everybody else who might have missed it. But, of course, spoiler alert, because we are... We're diving right in. We are. And there's a lot to cover. So how did it start? Well, first of all, I mean, they're, these are world travelers now. They're in Buenos Aires, uh, Argentina. I was like, wow, I want to go to these places. Jealous. Yeah. So it starts off with a one-on-one -on -one date. Wells is one of the few people that has not had a one-on-one -on -one date. Now, I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for him as a radio DJ. Mm -hmm. But he's been very quiet, and he admitted to the guys, which I think was a big mistake, that he has not kissed JoJo. I know, and they and made it, him feel even weirder about it. I know. It. But then he also was like, oh, I'm waiting for the perfect moment. No, there's just no perfect moment. I know. But, or is there? Oh, well, they go to perform an arts thing, and they get to, they're in this pool of water, and they're intertwining and stuff. And it's like, come on. Even JoJo was like, come, come on. on. This is perfect. So he finally kisses her, and she's like, finally. But that could have been this kiss of death. I know. There wasn't much like heat. <laughs> oh, you could it. you could see that there wasn't there. And then when they were talking later, he's looking he I can tell he has in his mind who the perfect woman is. And he said they're very different. He was really sweet, but he actually started to say, you know, I'm I was very skeptical, but I think now like I'm starting to have feelings for you. And then She's like, I see you just as a friend. Yeah. She tried to let him down gently, and he was actually really nice about it. Yeah, but he was very cool about it. I feel like we don't see that very often, where somebody's sent home on a on a like one on one. You date. don't very often. Yeah. So but the you guys could... and the guys saw it coming. Let's oh yes. Let's be honest. At oh, home, they were yes. kind of smack talking, like I don't think he's gonna come. Oh home. yes. So they were right. Yes. So and we lost one early on. In we the did. So it was. It's down to seven now at this okay. point. Uh, six, I believe. And so they go on a group date. And uh, they go into, they somehow walk into playing soccer. I think it was hilarious that they're walking around the town and suddenly there's a soccer game going on, so they get to play soccer. And James uh, Taylor, the singer-songwriter, is not feeling very confident about himself. He, he feels he's getting lost with Luke and Jordan being there, who are good-looking guys. Uh, so he, I, I feel weird because he kind of threw Jordan under the bus when he was talking to JoJo last night. He brought up an incident that happened during a poker game and that he felt that Jordan is out for fame and that he, ha yeah, he just questioned his values. What did you think about that? Do you think that was playing the game or do you think that was a genuine concern he had? I think there's probably a little bit of concern because I do believe James. He's, he comes off very sweet and real. Very genuine. But I was really surprised when he kind of threw Jordan under the bus because they say they're friends. Mm -hmm. But obviously that bothered jo uh, bar uh, JoJo because... Uh, she really likes Jordan, and yeah. so she confronted him right away about it. And he was like, it was a poker game, and he was questioning rules. It's not my rules. Right. You know, so he tried to defend himself, and he actually he called out James on afterwards and basically said, I think it's just inexcusable and despicable that someone is using that one incident to, to like, make themselves look better in front of JoJo. Yeah. Uh, uh, Luke got the group rose. Luke is hot. Luke, I mean, their chemistry no, is undeniable. Hot, but, like, there is steam coming off <sighs> of them when they kiss. Ooh, and they, they seem, I mean, they look like they have an emotional connection, yeah. too. And then, uh, for the first time ever, there was a second two-on-one date with Chase and Derek. And Derek, who was very unconfident a few weeks ago, was Mr. Confident, almost came off as kind of cocky, I thought. And uh, they went to a tango dance. They t talked, and I actually thought she had a good connection with both of them. But Derek was too confident. I knew it. I oh, knew it. And she sent him home. And Chase, Chase ends up getting the rose. Oh, man. I know. So now down to the rose ceremony. It's very dramatic. So uh, Robbie gets a rose. Then Jordan gets a rose. We're down to the final one. And all of a sudden she goes, I'm sorry. And she walks out. Like, you're like, what's going on? No, it's the you're already like, who's it going to be? And then she just leaves. She just leaves. Worse. And she talks to Chris and says, I can't hand out this final rose. Great editing, by the way, by The Bachelorette, I got to say. <laughs> because then Chris is like, well, what do you want to do? She comes, up, comes back up, and the guys are like, oh, like, and she's like, I can't hand out this rose. And you're like, whoa, is she sending both home? And then Chris Harrison walks out with two roses. And she can't decide. She can't decide. So both Alex and... Uh, James get a rose so no one goes home in that rose ceremony but Alex said it right when he said we got the pity roses because it was one of those two that was supposed to come and she can't decide between the two of them right oh man the yeah. drama I know there's it's always drama so, explosive. so what's gonna happen next week any predictions I think that there's more talk about Rob I, a lot of people are starting to question Robbie that he's mm. 
he's too good. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's some past there that's going to come and haunt him. Well, who knew that when Chad left, we were still going to have some serious drama. But, Leslie, that's why we have you on, because I actually <laughs> missed the very end of the episode, and I was like, I, I have to talk to Leslie. <laughs> so thank you for coming You're on, welcome. catching us all up, and we'll do it again next week? Yes. All right, sounds good. And you guys can watch a new episode of The Bachelorette next Monday right here on Kega 9. And also make sure you listen to Leslie during your drive home on 106.3 The Groove. You can also read Leslie's Bachelorette blog on 106.3 thegroove.com.